A few weeks ago, I wrote a blog post uh, that would describe how that described how to combine a Google AdSense search form code into your WordPress search form code, and I included some pictures and tried to explain what I do, but I don't know that I did a good job. So uh, anyway, I got a comment from Mario saying, "Hey, take a look at mine and and see what you can do." And so I appreciate that, Mario, for sending that to me because that gave me an excuse to do this. Uh, I'm going to show on video how I would combine a Google form code, which um, Mario has provided with a WordPress search form and Mario's WordPress search form looks pretty simple which is uh, good news uh, so it should be good for an example anyway uh, I'm using notepad 2 and I really like notepad 2 uh, it's quick it's fast it shows us uh, depending upon if we specify the format of a file it'll show us some syntax hints it's pretty cool so if you're a Windows PC user I would def definitely recommend you look at notepad 2 anyway um, and it's freeware uh, so I'm going to copy the WordPress search form code and I've gone through and cleaned this up a little bit so that it's a little easier to read. But uh, anyway, we're going to take a look at the WordPress form code and break down what everything does real quick. So we have this says this is a form, specifies an ID, which might be used by our style sheet to determine uh, what this form should look like, and then a method and an action. Then we have a text box, uh, an input text box, sorry, which says, um, you know, this is a text box, it, the class, this probably assigns style to the text box, this class, uh, the value we want the text box to have, the name, ID, and then this on focus on blur uh, information, which basically says when someone clicks on our box, we want to remove this value, we want to change the value to nothing. Uh, and then finally we have a hidden, this is a little odd, we have an hidden, a hidden uh, search box, uh, which looks like our submit, search submit box. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do is modify this existing code to accommodate the Google code. So we're going to delete this method get. Um, we're going to leave this form ID search form, and then we're going to change the action to match the uh, action specified in the Google form above. So you'll know the Google form specifies the action at contact google.com slash CSE, which I believe stands for custom search engine. And then it also specifies that this uh, is going to be a uh, new window. Uh, that's what that target blank means. So we're going to paste that. Now I'm not going to change the ID of our search form. I'm going to leave it alone. And the reason for that is that could specify the style of the form. Uh, Google specifies an ID for the search form. And the reason they do that is that, that this JavaScript that they include references that ID. It references it right here. So uh, we're just going to ignore their their ID name. We're going to use our own ID and we'll change this JavaScript accordingly. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so that's our first line. We're done. Right now we've integrated the form ID. Second line from Google is this div. We don't care. It's an empty div. Uh, third line is uh, an input type with our publisher ID. So we're going to add that. And I've obscured the publisher ID, but you'll see uh, you'll see your actual ID. The third or fourth line, I'm sorry, from Google Code specifies the uh, type of text that we're going to get back. I don't know that it's necessary, but there it is. Fifth line is this input type text name equals Q, size equals 26. I'm going to ignore the size because I don't think we need it. Um, and the reason I say that is we've got our class defined for this text box. Uh, and I'm, we've already got the type declaration here, so the only thing we need to do is figure out what to change. Um, and we're going to change the name of our input box to Q, and we're going to do that because uh, I'm going to feel confident doing that because I don't think that the name of the f of the input text box is used to style the text box. I think this class is used, so uh, we need that to make it work anyway. Then uh, we're going to have the submit button. We're going to add right now. If you look here, we have a value, a type, and a um, a name and I'm going to change this name to the submit button here that we have. Okay, last line is this script line. So we're going to just copy this JavaScript reference and I'm going to give us a little space and we're going to paste it but we're going to change the form ID, right? Right now it's search CSE-search box and we're going to change it to search form to match the ID of our form. And that's it. Now this may not work immediately. We may have uh, a little bit of an issue with this name equals Q. We may also have a little bit of an issue with this fact that this WordPress form doesn't use an actual input button. Uh, but these usually once you, you know, in this particular situation, I'm happy to help Mario with whatever he needs. But usually what happens is you get close, you play with it a little bit, and you figure it out. So anyway, I hope that this helps uh, everybody out there. Thanks for watching.